will be infinitely worse off. Nobody said anything about running. You want to lose. You're trying to see me go to prison. No. Faith, have I ever not been responsible? Have I ever not stepped up for mom or daddy? Or for my sisters? For you? I know, but... Then why would I start now? Why would I let you be the first person to cause me to do less than my best? Uh, I guess you wouldn't. No, Faith, I wouldn't. Not even you could drive me to that. I don't know. I'm just so damn nervous. Faith, I'm nervous too. But I've got a closing argument to prepare for, so I'll have to deal with being nervous some other time. Tales of this menu. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll order for both of us. You order it, I'll eat it. <laughs> Tell me uh, if I'm out of line, man. But um, I gotta say, everybody knows you're probably gonna go first in the draft. You haven't signed with the manager or agent yet? I got time. I know my brother told you that I'm getting into the management game building clientele, so um, while you're weighing your options, uh, you should consider letting me represent you. Well, I'll, I'll do that. I mean, uh, it's good to see a young brother repping athletes. Check this out. I know you have a lot more than the draft to think about. So what you need is somebody to worry about your career so you can focus on playing ball. I'll be the first to admit that I ain't no, I ain't no business head. And that's where I come in. My company's not so big that you're gonna get lost. You'll get 110% of my attention all the time. Cool. That's cool. I'll think about that. What's your She told me I can't be bothered with your people's music. Your people's music. I'm sure that's not what she said. I was there. That's not what I said. Gloria, we pride ourselves on having a cool and open atmosphere. If it's a problem for you to have certain music in the workplace, we... No, just... it's not a problem for me. Look, I never said I didn't like the music. I just... I think we need to keep the volume down so we can hear ourselves think. I can't argue with that. We just left a firm where race and gender were always considerations, and it made me crazy. They weren't attitudes that I appreciated, so they're not attitudes I would bring with me. See, I just feel. You have made your feelings very clear. Lawrence, help me out here. I have a closing argument to prepare for. She's a criminal. Guilty of accessory to bank fraud, accessory to money laundering, obstruction of justice and income tax evasion. Aren't we all supposed to pay our taxes and follow the law? Faith Hunter thinks she's different. And only you can let her know that she's not. You do that with a verdict of guilty. Thank you. confession to make. Uh, I'm afraid of the IRS. <laughs> Dracula, the Wolfman, never even made me wince. Jason, uh, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> no, but the IRS, well, they're scary. <laughs> and Faith Hunter shares that fear, but she's no criminal. And the prosecution knows that. They haven't presented a shred of evidence that isn't circumstantial because there is none. Let me tell you what I know about Faith Hunter. 
Her mother died when Faith was eight years old. Her father tried for about a year to raise her, but then he couldn't deal with bringing up a little girl. So she bounced from house to house for the next 10 years. So maybe it was the past that made her so happy to find a true Coleman. Somebody she thought would just take care of her. Hmm. And take care of her he did. He put bank accounts, cars, jewelry, furs, all in her name. And then he disappeared. And the government can't find Drew Coleman, so they've turned on Faith Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, the power to tax includes the power to destroy. The first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court said that in 1819, and it is just as true now. Don't let the government destroy this woman's life with no more than innuendo and inference. The only thing Faith Hunter is guilty of, ladies and gentlemen, is falling in love with the wrong man. And being afraid of the IRS. But then again, who isn't? Thank you. Sports Update have confirmed that Lionel Andrews, known to Virginia Commonwealth fans as the Lion, has signed on for exclusive representation with Seattle-based Regency Sports Management. I don't believe this. Sources report that Andrews has been in closed-door negotiations with Regency for the past six weeks and finally made the decision today. Damn. Hey, Bob Wayne is here. Send him... What can I do for you, Bob? That's what I can do for you. We just caught Drew Coleman. Really? Yes. If your cousin testifies, I'll drop the evasion and the accessory charges. That just leaves obstruction. Uh-huh. I'll take 18 months. We'll call it a day. And the unreported income deficiency? Yeah, I can't tell the IRS how to do business. Thanks for stopping by. Good behavior. She's out in nine months. If you roll the dice, she could get 20 years, maybe 40. Could get none. Your closing was good, but it wasn't that good. I'll present the offer. Okay. Comes off the table at 9 a.m. Yeah. Keep your back straight. Okay. Did you get the truck two new rear tires? Yep. How much did it run us? I got it covered. No, I'm just asking because I want to be sure they Max, gave you the... Max, I took care of the place for 10 years. I know that, Kenny. I'm just... Oh! Ooh. Ooh. You all right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm fine. Oh. 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 Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard, Kenny? I, I'm fine, all right? Uh, making me worse off than I am is not going to get you back in that office, Maxine. <sighs> I'll work, and, and you take care of our home. That's our deal. Can you at least give me a little credit for keeping your business afloat while you oh, couldn't work? Baby, baby, I, I have said it a thousand times. We couldn't have made it if you didn't step up. But I'm back now. Okay? No, it's not okay. that reduced to a year out in six if I testify I heard you told them I don't know anything oh well, you probably know things you don't realize you know 